So yeah, that was a major fail. Everywhere but the mouth. I'm a professional. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so excited to be able to do a recipe for you guys today. I'm, I've had a lot of people asking me to do like quick meals and pre-workout stuff. I've actually been going to the gym early in the morning. You know, you're really supposed to have protein, a carb before you go to the gym, but like an hour and a half to almost two hours before you go to the gym. I mean, that is what my coach taught me. It's not imperative that it's that long, but at least an hour so that your body can start digesting it. And then right before you go to the gym, you know, maybe a quick digesting carb like banana. I thought I would do some protein muffins because at least if you're getting up in the morning early, there's no excuses not to work out because you never want to go on an empty stomach unless your coach tells you to. <laughs> you don't have any energy. You know, you have nothing to put into your lifts. So I'm gonna do protein packed muffins, banana nut, and I'm gonna be using the Kodiak cake mix, but I'm gonna kind of change it up a little bit. It's quick, it's cheap, and it's easy. You can just throw everything in a bowl, everything in the oven, wrap it up, throw it in your fridge, get up, grab it out the door, and go. Let's get started. Here we go. <laughs> I am not a baker. I can cook up a storm, but when it comes to baking and being like precise, I don't like to follow rules. <laughs> I am going to attempt to make these muffins and um, I'm gonna try to follow directions as much as possible, but not add in certain things. So uh, I don't know if that's gonna work, but I bet they're gonna be good anyway because I'm using Kodiak cake mix anyway. So, what I did was, I just got some walnut pieces, and I like it really fine, because I don't like walnuts too much, and you don't have to put walnuts in yours, but I'm making banana nut, so. I just put it in my coffee grinder, and I just ground it up, so it is ground up. There's some big pieces in there still, but that's okay. Start with my bananas. We're gonna have to mash those up. Actually, I think I'm gonna use my mixer. I don't wanna mix, mix this by hand. Actually, I'll just do it by hand. I'll be a rebel. You're gonna mash it till it kinda gets gooey. Add in our nuts. Gonna add a little bit of sweet drops to flavor it. We're gonna do eggs. Do two cups of Kodiak cakes. Will you guys still like me if these turn out bad? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> this is the first time I've done this, so don't kill me if they're horrible. Get your whisk and mix it. I forgot to add a cup of water. Don't forget, because it's really thick. <laughs> Okay, now that we have a nice consistency, woo, we're gonna add a little bit of oats just for the texture. I, isn't that what you said, for the texture? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, how about a sprinkle? <laughs> you can dab after it. 
How about a little bit of, how about a little dab? <laughs> I don't even know who started that. Okay. I don't even know what the dab is, really. I just think it's hilarious. <laughs> okay, and then, the, is that enough oats? Oh yeah, yeah, you just need a little bit. See, I'm a professional. And my lovely assistant over here. Aren't we supposed to spray these muffin no, pans? No, you don't need to. Okay. okay, now, you're going to get a muffin tin and put your cute little muffin thingies in there. I don't know what they're called. Only about three fourths of the way. And fill it for only about three fourths of the way because I know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, you guys need to come a little closer here. This is like the worst part because I'm so messy. So yeah, that was a major fail. I would be uh, a really sad mom trying to feed my kid because he'd be a mess all over the place, everywhere but the mouth. You're gonna clean your act up. You're gonna clean your tray up so it doesn't burn and you start a fire and then you're gonna pop them in the oven. These are what they look like, they're so beautiful. Uh, make sure you clean up the tray around the edges so you don't like start a fire. I know that much. You don't want to have stuff burning in your oven. I'm gonna put these at 350 for 15 to 18 minutes and um, check them with a toothpick. I'll show you guys all that stuff though. So don't. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, let's put them in the oven. And there they go. And here we go. So you'll just pull it out a little bit so you can check it. You should have a toothpick so you can press it in the top, but I don't have one. So I'm gonna use my knife. So if it comes out clean and not gooey, then they're done. I don't burn my food ever. <laughs> and they're done. They look so good. They smell good too. Okay, taste test time. Individually wrap these in saran wrap. When they're cool, they're really hot right now, so I'm not gonna do that. You're gonna pop them in either an individual baggie or a airtight Tupperware and put them in the fridge so you can grab it and go. So let's try them. Taste test. Mmm. 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 That'd be good with butter on it. Mmm. There's only one gram of fat, so you can have a little butter. You know, little cubes. How I told you, you could put the little cube on it, you know exactly how many grams of fat. Mmm. That's bomb. That's it, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Cooking with Crystal. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll come back for more. <laughs> so I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.